Here we have a very nice looking 2004 BMW 645 CI convertible in a silver grey colour. Car's in really nice condition for its age. If we start with the offside front tyre. Tread wise, you've got around four, four and a half mil of tread. Slight bit of wear on the outside edge. The tyres should be fine. Looking at the front alloy, it has had the, uh, some other alloys put on it. Which I think look really nice actually. No signs of any curbing at all to the alloy. Really nice condition. Got a few little marks on it here and there. You can see a little bit of a minor chip there. And some minor scratches around the alloy. But other than that, they're in really nice condition. Taking a look down the offside of the vehicle. Didn't see any signs of any dents or any damage at all. Body looks very nice. You got a couple of very minor dinks which I'll show you in a second. But other than that, you got a few just very minor marks to the paintwork, a few little stone chips towards the bottom of the driver's door there and a couple of marks just here and there on the paintwork uh, that would require just a, a few touchings here and there got a very minor dink there, don't know if you're able to see it, it is very minor just about to see it there but uh, again no signs of any car park chips at all a very very minor scratch there to the driver's door but again, great condition. Uh, very minor dink there as well towards near the petrol cap. But other than that, it is a uh, very nice condition for its age. Take a look at the offside rear. And you've got around 4mm of tread there, maybe 3.5. Uh, look at the rear alloy. See that it's got a bit of lacquer coming off. And again, to the uh, other side of the alloy with some slight curbs. That would uh, require a refurb. But the other half of the wheel seems to be in good condition. Moving around to the back of the car. So it's a great looking shape. No signs of any dents or dinks at all to the rear of the vehicle. Great condition. Do get your rear parking sensors as well. And it looks like they've worked to be honest because all you've got is a very minor, very light scratches to the back of the boot lid there. And uh, again, just a few little marks, slight bit of a scuff there to the paintwork. Just about to see that. If you have a, have a look at the boot, great condition in the boot, you get a nice uh, size boot as well. And underneath there is just your battery, etc. Slight bit of wear into the, the badge as well. Moving around to the near side of the vehicle. the near side rear tyre and you've got around three and a half mil of tread there on the rear and look at the rear alloy again we've got some uh, little chunks of uh, lacquer missing I think it is um, very minimal on this alloy other than that for no four plate very nice condition take a look down the near side of the vehicle no signs of any dents or any dings at all on the near side, really nice condition. Bit of a scratch here on the near side rear. We just make our way down the car. Great condition all over. We have just a very few minor scratches to it. A little bit of a paint bubble there. Go look at the near side front, and you've got around four mil, four and a half of tread. Great condition. Very minor curve there to the alloy. But other than that. As you can see, very nice condition. Moving on to the front of the car. Again, great condition, you've got a few very minor stone chips dotted around the bonnet of the vehicle. And to the front bumper. No signs of any damage at all though. Just a few stone chips here and there. If we take a look inside the car. Of course it's the convertible, roof works perfectly fine and uh, the roof interior is very nice as well as this, uh, a soft top. But look at the rear seats here, see great condition, slight bit of wearing, that is to be expected of a used vehicle. No damage at all, no rips or any tears to the interior, so very nice condition in the back. And take a look in the front. 
Got quite a bit of wearing to the, uh, the driver's holster, as you can see, a bit faded, so it just needs a bit of TLC. But overall, for its age, great condition. You've got your electric seats and memory seats as well, and they work perfectly fine. And look in the passenger side, again, great condition overall. Uh, slight bit of wear in here. See some of the, the rubber has uh, come off, and a few scratches to the gearbox. But again, all little things expected of a used car. Uh, used car. But overall, it's really nice condition. A few little marks, the aluminium. A few stuff inside the vehicle, I can uh, show the mileage. You only get one set of a key with a vehicle, and if we get it started up, hear that V8. No problem starting the car at all. Does need a bit of fuel, that's the only problem. But you can see 105,000 miles, 818, so it has done a few miles in its time, but uh, no symbols on the dash there that you need to be aware of. If we listen to that engine. Beautiful sounding engine, multifunction steering wheel, everything works perfectly fine. You've also got your sat nav here, and you can see all the buttons function perfectly fine as well. Lots of added extras to the car, um, auto dim interior and folding mirrors, sports seats, heated seats, You've got the 19 inch alloys on it as well, professional navigation and Bluetooth. The heated seats, as you can see, both on the driver's and passenger side. Works perfectly fine, and like I said, the roof does as well. Automatic transmission. If we take a quick look at the documents, the vehicles had three previous owners. Perfectly MOT certificate. October the 13th, 2013, so plenty left on the MOT. And then looking at uh, the service history on the vehicle, feel free to pause at any time to have a better look. Um, sorry about that, the wind's blowing it all over the place. 30,000 there for the first, 39,000, 49,000, you got a stamp there, not sure what that's for. 26 to the tenth, so that a service there as well. Um, one at 74,000, and then your last one there at 88,000 miles. So that's got part history. Um, so it will need a service now, to be honest. But there we have it, that's the 2004 BMW 645 CI convertible. And for Carver's Sage, it's a very nice looking vehicle.